brother. Oh, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Thank I'm you, sir. Fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Uh, well, I, I mean, I just witnessed this guy stab someone to death for almost no reason. Well, I mean, I guess there is a reason. He was being kind of an asshole to me, but... Yeah, I'm new. Why does he have to stand up for me, you know? So why would I be sarcastic to this guy? I don't want to get stabbed. Yeah. I feel you. I Good. feel him. You stay I feel cool, him. And you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Oh, Hancock's in charge. I'll never forget it. All right, well. Should have some, uh, probably have some new NPC or not NPC. Well, I guess new NPCs, but new, uh, some new bartering, some new, uh, merchants. This wasn't the place. I know I thought I said something about Good Springs earlier. I know this is Good Neighbor, but this isn't the town I was talking about. There's still, like, there's still a town somewhere, like, I I swear it's in this. I'm going to go check this fucking area. Like, somewhere in this area, like, around here, there was another town. I don't think it would, I mean, it might have been up here, but I think it was, like, around here. I can't remember what the name of it is. I thought it was Good Springs, but maybe I uh, thought... Maybe I thought it was called Good Neighbor. Couldn't remember it properly, but this is Good Neighbor. It's a different town anyway. I swear there's another town over there. Smell that? That's freedom. That smells like crap to me. Whatever. Hey there. Huh? Don't have no handouts. I'm not asking for handouts. Hey, this guy's got a fat man with a mini nuke ready to go. The power armor station. Let me save this real quick. Cleo? What is this person's name? I don't know what this person's name is. They have a bunch of mini nukes, though. Could steal them if I wanted. Oh, look at this. Join the railroad? What? How do you join the railroad? Up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. I want to join the railroad? Sounds cool. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill what I want to. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna say yes. I'm not even gonna question it. You certainly look like a woman. Yes. I and agree. That's all that matters, right? Now are you buying what I'm selling? I guess so. Alright. A few minutes to a gun for right. I'm not gonna question it. Alright, what does Cleo have? Assault rifle, some other stuff. Anything good? Think there'd be anything good here? Party starter does 50% more damage against humans. It's a missile launcher. Not really into missiles. I mean, that would be pretty fun to carry around and stuff. How much does it cost? Costs uh, 8,000 caps, apparently. So, you know what? I'm not going to buy that because... I didn't save up 10,000, almost 500 caps to buy a missile launcher that's co that costs like 80% of my money that I have no idea if I'll even use that much. Like, I would have to use it by default. If I'm going to pay 8K for a gun, I would have to use it. And I just really don't use uh, missile launchers a whole lot, so whatever. Oh, she might have some better armor, though. Look at this. Holy shit, that thing costs 14,000. Oh, my God. She might actually have some good armor, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to drop like 10k on armor either. Holy shit! See, she does have some good armor pieces. I mean, I could buy. Uh, there was like one piece I could buy. I could buy this one. It's a little bit better, and it doesn't cost that much, so might as well. But holy crap! Yeah, these two things, the Devastator stuff. That stuff costs way too much money. I could buy this one, but then I would fucking... 
I would have like no money left. Sell some crafting stuff. Sells ammo, so might as well pick up some ammo. I got stuff to sell anyway, so I might as well, right? I'm still giving her almost a thousand caps. It's pretty rough. I need I need the ammo though. Alright, what else we got? I'm gonna get rid of some buff out. I don't need four jet men's hats. Random food. Don't need all this psycho. I have a lot of purified water. I should probably do something about that. Radaway. Or Rad X. I don't need that many Radaway either. Probably get rid of like two of those. I still have all this pre war money that I could sell. I could buy one of the better. I mean, it just seems too expensive. It just seems way too expensive. Now here's here's a bunch of missiles right there. And I'll just keep saving my stuff for a different day. All right, now I need to get all the stuff from Dog Me. Okay. Take all his stuff. Hey, Cleo. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Yeah, I know you Let's do. See what you got. Murder. Just buy my stuff. That's all I need you to do. Still got to make sure I'm not giving anything too much. But I mean, oh well, yeah. Probably shouldn't sell that. That was probably something. That was probably the thing that I just bought. Probably make sure I'm not getting rid of anything I don't want to get rid of. Alright, well, we should be decent. Got some caps from that. Alright. Not bad. Done bartering. I don't know what else we can do around town. Are there any quests that I got here? Follow the Freedom Trail. Something about the Silver Shroud. And a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Alright, I don't think I have any quests here just yet. Let me talk to some people. <clears throat> oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? I mean, I'm really... Oh, looking for work. Here we go. Any work? Might I have do, some... actually. Oh, quest, Super yes! Mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I've got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and... Human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. 200 caps? How about more money? I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. Look, I've been shilling deals oh, come for two on. centuries, and you just overplayed your hand. The job's 200 caps. Take it or leave it. That's fine, because I already did it, apparently. <laughs> Actually, I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while, if you ever happen to go back there. I got an overdue book that I haven't really Daisy. done anything Means with. A lot to me that you made the library. All right, let's see what she's got. I'll take a look. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. What does she got? She's got ammo. She's got guns. She's got armor. Could be something better. Doesn't look like it. Well, this wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'll just leave it for now. She's got some aid. Nothing too crazy. 
No, she does have some shipments of stuff. This could actually be pretty good for later if I need any of this. Chances are if I needed anything, I would probably just look up what NPC had it and where. Because I am not going to remember that. Doesn't have anything too crazy. And she's got some decent weapons, it looks like. But I'm already out of stuff to sell and whatnot. Hi. Hey. So, there's really no point bartering with her unless I wanted something from her. Which I really don't. Let me see what she's got going on up here. Looks like she does some drugs and stuff in her spare time. Nice. I mean, what else are you going to do? You live in a shithole, everything's gone to hell. She's a ghoul. She's apparently been alive for a couple hundred years. I mean, I don't blame her at all. I don't blame anyone. Let's see. Don't want to unlock that. I can unlock all these warehouses, but it's probably not a great idea. Uh, oh, this Indeed requires key. a key. It's probably not a great idea because they're red, so... I don't know if I'd really want to go in there. I don't even know where it brings you to. It probably just brings you to a different room full of a bunch of shit you can steal. Well, we can either go in here and talk to Hancock... Or we can go over to this side, and I don't know what's going on over here. Hey. Running from something? <clears throat> Welcome home. Heard what you did. Saved that Rex Goodman from the super mutants, right? Guess not everyone appreciates the bard. Am I right? Apparently not. All right. Let's go see if uh, this guy says anything in here. You're saying I can steal that jet? Hancock, he's the mayor around here. Elected by himself, accepted by everyone. All right. Better Who's this guy? Iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Another random drifter in here. I can steal all this stuff if I wanted. That wouldn't be very nice, though, would it? I mean, nice Hancock. Bit, boy. Who'd you kill to get that? Huh? I didn't kill anyone. I found it person was already dead by the time I found it. I mean, Hancock, like, helped us out by stabbing someone to death, so he might not be the... He might not be the oh, guy that geez, I want to piss off, right? Diamond City types, are you? Probably don't want to piss him off. Though I have no idea where the hell he's at right now. Tons of, tons of drugs here. Some money. Let's go out here, see if he's out here. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Oh shit! Keep what the? Fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing. Hey, I'm up here too. Sweet. Anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Murawski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The oh. Institute. Wow. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! 
And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? <laughs> of the people, for the people. people. Man, these guys really love their handcuffs, don't they? Super mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? A terrifying thing.